Hey folks, welcome to the live unboxing and review of the Pokemon Go Plus. Um, now as you can see from the get-go, I've literally just taken it out of the parcel it arrived from Nintendo in. So this is the box. Now, starting off with the state of the thing, I'll be honest, <laughs> it looks a bit like it may have been sat in their warehouse a while before they shipped it out. I mean, you can see there's a bit of crumpling there and a bit of fade in there. Now on the back, this, this blue bit, the reason it doesn't cross over here is this is a sticker. Now this is where it's stating about an update being required and at the minute um, only compatible with iPhone 5 and onwards running iOS 8 and 9. Um, now it says as of July 2016 developed to expand compatibility with Android devices is ongoing. So that to me means that that sticker was placed on there before they'd managed to get everything finalised with Android. I hope, because the website says they have, that it's all up and running now, because in a few minutes we're going to be testing it out with my S7 Edge. So let's start with the unboxing. So it's a fairly simple open like this. Now the cardboard itself, it's very reminiscent of the cardboard that they used to use on the old Game Boy games. So it's very kind of matte a very sort of flimsy finish so we fold open the box like this and what have we got inside so we've got the instruction sheet multilingual so we can put the uh, non-english sheet over there for me now because obviously I'm going to be reading this in English but then in here we've got a little bubble wrap now in the little bubble wrap pocket we've got what we're actually interested in. So in here we have the wrist strap that the Go Plus will be sitting in like so. So that's there look. And that's your wrist strap. And then the Go Plus device itself is just here. And there we go. So that is your Pokemon Go Plus with a little tab that you remove and discard before use. Um, comes with a little clip there as well. Now I'm guessing, being as we've got screws, that this is very reminiscent of the um, the Poke Walker. For those of you that can remember that from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, so you'd unscrew this back to screw it on that back. So we'll be doing that in a moment. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the instruction manual just to see how we get set up. Okay, so I'm going to read this off camera so you've got the Go Plus to look at. Um, so we've got all your usual health and safety information. Um, it's got the battery pre-installed and we've got the instruction book. Okay. So for getting started, it says you need to download the app, which I've already got. Remove the pull tab and pair my device with the Pokemon Go Plus. Okay, so pair your smart device with Pokemon Go Plus. Touch settings in the app, then select Go Plus to begin pairing the accessory with your smart device. Okay, so does it have anything more... It does not have anything majorly more specific than that in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do as the game says. We're going to remove and discard the tab. So now we've got the Go Plus there that should be active. Next we're going to uh, get my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Now I'm going to unlock that. And Pokemon Go, because I tend to play it a lot on the bus, is here on my app's Edge. So we'll get this loading up. Now I have downloaded the most recent update for this, so hopefully we should be good to go. Okay, so that's the usual messages. Now for the purposes of this, while I'm in settings, I'm gonna turn the music and sound effect back on.
there we go so we've got the music and sound effects back on now because I can record from the actual phone because of the Samsung game tools what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this video and record everything else from the actual phone screen so you get a better view um, and then I'll come back to you on the camera once I've done that so what I'll do is tap the little game tools icon click record Okay, so now you can see I've got the Apple loaded up. There's my little dude in the overworld. Um, turns out that I've forgotten to turn my Bluetooth on. So when I go into the settings um, and go down to Pokemon Go Plus, obviously there's no available devices showing. So swipe down, turn the Bluetooth back on, and then we should be able to get connected from here. Now it should be detecting my Pokemon Go Plus. Okay, so now back on the app we go into the settings Pokemon Go Plus and now the Bluetooth is active and the device is active it should show up on my available devices there we go so we tap on that give it a bit of time and there we go we are successfully connected excellent stuff and now if we go back over to here look you see if I press the green button now on my Pokemon Go app it's thrown a Pokeball and it failed so that Pidgey's now escaped so Pidgey ran away whereas in the actual game I can go cobble myself on a different Pidgey And there we go, so that's what it looks like up in the corner. So if we tap the Pokemon Go Plus icon, and that just tends to connect and disconnect. So there we go. We've got the Pokemon Go Plus connected to the app. We've got the uh, Pokemon Go Plus there ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to stop the footage on my phone and that will save that automatically to my phone. There we go. Now, if I close my phone, eventually, because I tend to get a lot of Pokemon pop up around the front of my house, even though they do only tend to be Pidgeys. We'll just give it a bit of a wait and we should end up with the Pokemon Go Plus flashing at some stage. Just make sure it stays connected. Now you can see on my phone on the notification panel up at the top there is the, uh, the little Pokemon player Plus pin. So when this vibrates or flashes, we'll know there's a Pokemon nearby and then I just press the button in an attempt to catch it. So for now, I'm going to leave it sat there while we wait. Now I'm going to keep filming, but what I'm going to do is when I actually upload the video to YouTube, obviously I'm going to cut out any blank space between then and now. So if it does seem to jump a little bit, that'll be why. Because the last thing I want is you lot sat there in silence while I'm doing this. Okay, there we go. So I'm flashing green. So I press the button. Let's shake one, shake, ah, and the Pokemon escaped. 
So that's what it's like when a Pokemon shows up. It starts flashing and buzzing white like that. So you tap the button in the middle. Um, it will buzz and shake as if it's trying to catch the Pokemon, but it only uses your standard Pokeballs, okay? So those of you that have got the Ultra and Great Balls, you haven't got to worry about accidentally using those up. So it flashed twice, then flashed red, which meant I failed to catch the Pokemon. I mean, to be fair, it was probably only a Pidgey anyway. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the review I've got at the moment of it. I mean, it's quite a nicely made piece of kit. It's very, as I say, it's very reminiscent of the Pokewalker from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, the wristband itself feels like quite a nice material. Uh, I know I've not shown you about putting this on at the moment, but it's quite fiddly and I'll be honest, I'll probably include an actual video review when I wear it out and about because it's literally a case of you can clip it straight on to some clothing using that clip or you unscrew that which takes this bit off then this will just slot on there like that when it's unscrewed and screw it back on and you're good to go okay so um, thanks for watching this little review guys I hope those of you that were torn about whether or not you're going to buy it it's giving you a little bit more in the way of info to make a decision um, as usual thanks for watching drop the video a like if you like what I've got to show you um, subscribe if you want to see more of the stuff I want to be throwing out there uh, now I understand some of the editing on this might be a little bit of a mess where I'm switching between phone and what I've recorded on the camera uh, this is because I'm still running through Windows Movie Maker so I'm going to apologize for that now um, but yeah guys thank you again for the third time for watching and uh, have a good day. <laughs>